Hi, my name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to be testing out a handful of new products, starting with The World Is Ending Skincare. This is pretty basic skincare though, it's just a moisturizer. The world isn't that far gone, I guess. This is the Aveeno Common Restore for Sensitive Skin Oat Gel Moisturizer. I am not a skincare person, I never have been, and I'm pretty sure I never will be. However, as you've seen in some of my videos, um, I don't know what my face is doing. This has never happened to me before, only the last uh, couple years, especially the past year. I originally thought it was the face masks, maybe some makeup I was using, but a friend said to me, you're not 16 anymore. Skin changes, issues change. It's time for you to start using skincare. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this is what it looks like. I hate like, I don't know, things on my face. This feels kind of slimy. Let's see. Definitely like a gel, like it says. Um, I guess a little bit between a gel and a cream. No scent really, so that's good. And we'll see how this goes. Lately, I've been using the Aveeno uh, cleanser as well. I never thought I'd be using a cleanser in my life. But here we are, out of necessity, because I'm not ready to go to the doctor. So I'm going to try a couple skincare things first. No new foundations, concealers, powders, so I'm just going to use my usual Maybelline Dream Urban Cover in 102 Fair Porcelain. The Tarte Shape Tape, which I've actually really been enjoying, uh, mainly because it does a decent job and it doesn't give me any kind of reaction like basically every other concealer that I've been trying. This is in 8B Porcelain Beige, and then my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 110 Porcelain. This is my personal, like, go-to Holy grail. Foundation, concealer, powder, those are boring. Those are just like essentials. You know I'm an eyeshadow person. So I wasn't going to show you any of that because you've seen it before and it's nothing new, but uh, maybe I should have because putting the foundation oops, <laughs> over um, the moisturizer, I felt like it stuck maybe a little bit more. So maybe as if uh, you were to put it over a primer, but looks fine. I don't know if it enhanced any coverage or not, I don't think so, but so far it hasn't seemed to disturb that process. Next I'm going to try a lip liner, which I've never tried a lip liner ever in my life, so this is the first lip liner I've ever tried. This is the Lasting Finish Lip Liner from Rimmel London in 705 Cappuccino. I got this for free from Influencer. Uh, I enjoy Influencer smells very uh, makeup-y, kind of like um, like an Avon pencil eyeliner. I hope I don't like have a reaction from this. Anyway, uh, Influencer, I don't know why I thought I could talk to you and do this at the same time. Hang on. This is really stiff. I mean, it's still going without me having to like hold on to my lip or anything, but this is stiff. But I guess it's, oops, I guess it's supposed to be, right? Cause it's supposed to like keep your lipstick and stuff in place. I know some people put it all over their lips though. So I'm gonna try it that way. Let's see if I can blend it a little bit. So that's the lip liner. That's interesting. Uh, Influencer is, this is not sponsored by the way, I just like it. An app where if you answer a bunch of surveys, um, sometimes you can get free stuff and the only thing you have to do is give an honest review. They don't care if it's positive, negative, they just want a review or they won't send you free stuff anymore. So this is one of the products I got lately to review. I don't know. 
I don't know uh, how I feel about it. I have absolutely nothing to compare it to. <laughs> I guess it depends on how it wears, as usual, reaction, as usual. The color, uh, for me, this is not a color that I would normally pick out. Uh, this is like a, a brown taupey kind of color. But I guess if I used it just on the outer lines of my lips, like most people use lip liner, I don't know, I'll have to try this again another time using that method. Another product I got from Influencer is the Rimmel London Wonder Cloud Eyeshadow in 004 Spice Petal. Spice Petal. Supposedly, there is a built-in primer in this eyeshadow. I will be the judge of that. Me and my hooded eyes will be the judge of that. So it's basically a nude shade. And it's matte. Well, maybe it's a little bit lighter. Well, let's see. So this eye I have primed. This eye I don't. Okay, so it's like a... Unless it dries down... A different color it's like a lightish warm brown I'm gonna blend that out just want to get a little closer to my lash line and maybe try to blend out the crease a little bit more Granted, I'm only using my finger. Maybe you should use a brush. This is how I usually do it. I feel like for the most part it's even, um, which is good. You do kind of have to work fast. But I do feel like in the crease it's already um, separating. Let's try my other eye. Also, this is clearly for someone who likes, um, like a simple, neutral makeup look. Like, kind of one and done, as they say. You put a little on, you blend it out, and you're finished. Not my usual look, but I want to try it out. I wonder how this would do as an eyeshadow base, too. Like, if your skin tone is similar to this color... Or maybe even if it's not, can you use this as an eyeshadow base? I feel so mature. I have this taupe lip. I have this one and done neutral eye. I'm using skincare. Who am I? Interestingly enough, I feel like the um, separation at the crease isn't happening as much on this side. So I'm wondering, is it having a reaction with my eyeshadow primer underneath? We'll just have to wait and see. Until then, I think I'll try to put a little bit under the eyes as well. You know what, I know I've tried some ColourPop liners on here before and I'm planning a whole video for them. But I still have this one that I haven't tried yet, uh, Swerve. It's black. And I feel like now is the time with this kind of look that I have going on. So I'm going to apply that first to my waterline. You know what, I might just do this because I keep poking myself in the eye. I guess once you layer it up, it's present. But basically something I'm finding with the ColourPop eyeliners is that they're inconsistent. So we'll see how this wears. And I guess I'll put a little bit on the upper lash line as well. I keep poking myself in the eye. I'm also not good at eyeliner.
Let's see if I can get a little wing in there. I don't think it's the eyeshadow underneath causing this problem. I don't know if it's the eyeliner or is it just me because I suck at eyeliner. At least when it's in a like a pencil form like this. You know what? I'm gonna take this little brush from Wish that I have. And let me see if I can kind of fix that a little bit. Not really. Now with all these neutrals going on, I got a duochrome highlighter. <laughs> My first one. I never had a duochrome highlighter before. This is Ofra's Mother Earth. It's supposed to be pink to green. Um, right now in the pan, it looks white green, but I heard that it depends on like how you apply it. I didn't pay full price for this. I thought that was silly, but uh, I think I got it on sale for 20, which is still kind of a lot, but for a duochrome highlighter, if it works. So I'm gonna use my Moda contour brush swirl it around that's a lot <laughs> oops and pff, yeah it's way too much oh i actually see it i actually see the pink to green so it's like it's green over here but it's pink over here i i don't think you can see it but I can definitely see it in real life and vouch for it. Um, how flattering is it? <laughs> Probably not, but um, I don't care. I'm excited. I look like a mystical creature of some kind. On this side, I'm gonna try putting it on my finger. Ooh, let's see, can you see a little bit maybe? So like, see, it's definitely green. But then when I start to turn it toward the light, can you see that it's going pink? I'm not sure. But I'm going to kind of pack it on a little more on this side. And I think people said when you, and Ofra itself, uh, said when you pack it on, you only see one color. When you like shear it out and do it with a brush, then that's when you see the two. So let's see. I'll be sure to go into the natural light and double check and also show you natural light pictures. But on this side, I definitely see it. So I'm happy with that. So see here, this is green. I'm in the other bathroom now. But when I turn, there it is. You see up my nose and you can see that the highlighter is pink also. That was such an attractive angle. The last makeup product I have for today is a new mascara. This is the Kiko Extra Sculpt Waterproof Mascara. Ooh, fancy packaging here. Um, it had good reviews and I'm always looking for good affordable mascaras so I can stop spending so much money on Too Faced mascaras, but so far I like those best. So mascaras are hard to judge on a first impression because sometimes they need to like dry out a little bit first, but I'll keep you posted. So I already curled my lashes, which is something I do 99% of the time. And let's see how this goes. So far, I'm getting a good amount of length. Doesn't seem to be a lot of volume though, but let's see. It's also hard to tell with the eyeliner. That was probably a bad idea. Can you still see? Yeah, I think you could still see. Okay, then I'm going to try that on the bottom lashes, which you know that I don't, oops, I already made a mess. I don't uh, use anything but like colored mascara or like a washable mascara on the lower lashes because that's what I prefer. But I will show this for everyone else who wears all different kinds of mascaras on their lower lash line. That's kind of intense. And I made a mess. 
and I'm making a bigger mess. Okay, so I'm going to leave it. Same thing. A lot of length, not a lot of volume. It's going to be a pain to take off later. Or maybe it won't. I'll let you know. And then I'm going to put a second coat on top. Okay, I mean, not bad. Things I'm looking for are how hard is it to remove, even if it's waterproof, because that just bothers me. I'm picky. Length, volume, does it hold a curl, because my lashes like just drooping downward. And of course, do I have a reaction to it? All of that and more, I'll let you know. So far though, do I like Too Faced better than Sex Waterproof better? Yeah, but I don't think this looks bad so far. I think it looks pretty good. Personal preference. Ugh, why am I such a mess? Well, it all started the day I was born. All right, I can't help myself. I have to spruce up this look. <laughs> I'm going to use the highlighter with my BH Cosmetics brush with a six on it. Bones in the background. And I'm going to use that on my inner corner just to see what happens. So far, it just looks green. And by the way, in the natural light in my bathroom, yeah, both sides just look green. But I do see it here. So I guess it depends on like how the light comes in. I hope I can capture it in some pictures later. So this side I'm packing on instead just to see if there's a difference. Yeah. I do see some pink on this one now, which is interesting because on this side I only saw green when I packed it on, but now I'm seeing a little bit of pink. I don't know if you can though. This side I only see green. The last product I have to show you today are the Simple Kind of Skin Cleansing Wipes. Uh, they're makeup remover wipes and I also got these from Influencer for free. So I'm going to insert that clip now because I already pre-filmed that part. And I've been trying these out for a while. So these are these simple kind of skin cleansing wipes. They're supposed to take off your makeup, even remove waterproof mascara. Um, I got these free from Influencer. I've tested out a few of them by now. And the very first time I tried them, um, I got like a mild allergic reaction. Like I started getting like red and blotchy all over. But I haven't seen that again. Um, however, I just, I don't feel like these take the makeup off that well. So for example, I have my e.l.f. Bite Size, uh, one of the mint quads on right now. And I also have a primer underneath. I feel like it kind of works best if you just like rub in circles. Like I'm trying not to be too harsh with it because... Um, I know that's not good for, like, your eyes and your skin, but, like, if you don't apply enough pressure, I feel like it doesn't come off. And I'll go under here. It's not going to take off the Avon Wide Awake Mascara I have on the bottom lashes, um, because that comes off with water. It will take off the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner I have on the waterline. As for removing waterproof mascara, I have on the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara right now. And it's not going to come off that well. I mean, it does come off, but... You know, it's, it's still a little difficult. I like using my All May makeup remover pads the non-oil for the face, and the oil for the eyes. And that takes off the waterproof uh, mascara and really anything I've ever had on. Even took makeup out of my carpet. <laughs> As for the face makeup, I have a few different things on right now. I have setting spray from, I think, Kat Von D or Urban Decay. I have Becca highlighter. I have Tarte Amazonian clay blush. I have... Too Faced Sun Puppy Bronzer, 
Maybelline Fit Me Powder and Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. And I feel like this takes two passes to get everything off. So if I use one side, like first, I have to use the second side, like the back of it. And then that will get the rest off for the most part. But again, I feel like I have to apply a little more pressure. So I'm sure someone out there likes these a lot. But so far, I mean, I use them because they, they do the job eventually and it's a little um, less waste because I just use the one wipe instead of a few different pads. But I feel like it does take longer because it doesn't come off all that easy. I've had worse, but I've had better. Also, I have a feeling these can get kind of pricey. This is 25 wipes. So as far as I'm concerned, that's 25 days of makeup coming off. And I will look up the price. All right, so moisturizer, it's, it was okay. I mean, it didn't cause any problems right now. It wasn't that terrible to put on my face. So I'll have to keep you updated on that and see how I feel about it. The Rimmel Lip Liner and the Rimmel Eyeshadow, um, they seem to be a good formula, but the colors are definitely not for me. I'll keep you updated on how they wear and reaction. The eyeliner, um... Let's see how it wears on the lower lash line because really that's what I care about. I don't really wear stick eyeliners on my upper lash line and <laughs> yeah, I guess it's okay if that's what you're looking to do. Um, but for me, I, I struggle and I don't care for the look of it. So as long as it wears on the lower lash line okay and doesn't give me a reaction, I'll be happy with that. The mascara is pretty nice. I just, you know, I have things I like better. But this seems like a nice, affordable option. And the highlighter I am happily surprised with. Uh, lately, some duochrome stuff I haven't been impressed with. So uh, to actually see the duochrome, don't worry. If you can't see it now, I'll put the pictures in at some point if you haven't seen them already. So that I'm happy with. I think it's a lot of money. So if you can get it on sale, uh, that's better, of course. But I am happy with that. And the wipes, uh, yeah, they're, they're not for me. I didn't think they did a good enough job for my liking. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye. See you next time.